Exercise number four today inside weeks three and four of the 12 week lower back and core program. And this one is called neutral spine setbacks in four point. It's a progression in the neutral spine sort of category, which you actually see on our my lumbar spine course, of going from neutral spine and then trying to get the body moving while maintaining neutral spine. Now you're gonna need a mirror for this one because you've got to see what your back is doing because when you're in four point and you're not looking, you can't really see what your back's doing. You need some visual feedback. So I suggest you use a mirror for this exercise. And this one teaches you how to maintain neutral spine with no load, so no compression on, and keeping your spine neutral as you move forward and back in a squat pattern. So really important for people who have problems when they squat about maintaining neutral spine. So if you're one of those people who either arches too much, butt wings too much, this one's for you, but it's a very low level. So it's boring, it's back to basics, but this is the groundwork we need in physio to try and get your brain improving your motor pattern in a neutral spine position, so then that translates into a squat, into a deadlift, into a lunge, whatever you're doing exercise-wise. So enough talk, I'll show you what I want you to do. In four points, so similar stuff, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, now, you should know where neutral spine is, okay? It's not down there. It's certainly not up there, all right? So sometimes in neutral spine, we find a bit of a cat cow to try and find that. It is halfway between your extension and your flexion. Most people, it's about there with a very, very, very slight curve there, not a complete flat spine like that. There's a slight lordosis, because guess what? The lumbar spine has a lordosis, okay, that's why I call it lordotic. So there's a natural lordosis there. That needs to be maintained when I move my hips and my shoulders, okay? So when I go into a squat position, I've got to try and not let that either go flexion or extension, okay? It's pretty hard to make it go into more extension, that's quite hard, it's very easy to let it go into flexion. That's what we want to avoid for a butt wank. So here's your start point. Find your neutral spine. This is where you combine neutral spine plus your core activation. That has to go on. That is gonna maintain you to try and keep this stable and not move while I move the hips. Because guess what, in a squat, when you're loaded, you gotta move here and move there and move your ankle, but don't move in your lower back. So from here, I've gotta sit back, have a look at it, keep moving and I can push here and as I start to get there, if I start rounding like that, I've got to start activating my posterior chain, my extensors in my spine to try and keep myself, as I go lower, can I keep myself, and when I get to the point where I think, I can't keep that, it's gonna go into flexion, then I come back. Now when you come back, you gotta be careful. Don't just launch back into there, because guess what happened? I went into extension. Because I was activated in my extensors, as soon as I moved, they fire up, they go into extension. And this is where people go in the bottom of the squat, they round, and then they launch into extension. So, you've got to try and go from here, all the way down into here, in that neutral spine, and you'll feel it in here working, and then as you come out, you've got to slowly let this go. So you've got to slowly let it go, so as you come up, I'm going, I'm keeping neutral all the way, so when I return, I'm still in neutral. That's actually quite hard. I find that harder than doing and then trying to hold my extension all the way down. I find it harder trying to release it and not go into extension on the way up. So the progression of that is a neutral spine sit back, pushing on a Swiss ball and sitting backwards. Now that provides some compression on the spine, teaches you to actually stabilize on the load before you end up trying to do heavy squats and heavy deadlifts and things like that. So if you're that sort of person, they either butt wink or they hyperextend, you're losing neutral spine, you wanna be improved in your neutral spine capability and you're trying to do squats and lunges and all that sort of thing and load it up where you should be stable in your spine under load, then that's a really good one to start with because you're unloaded, really good for people with sore backs, post disc problems because you're sitting in four point, the disc is no load and you can really work on muscle activation, control and the most important part is the pattern of movement up into here and repeating that so then you can translate that into 
your other movement patterns in the gym, okay? So like I said, that's part of our lumbar spine course. It's also in our 12-week lower back and core program. Check it out online. We'll see you next time.